you gotta be able to see both of us. Ready? Oh, Sally. Ready? Mm. Like that. Oh, move your thumb. Okay. So today, today. me and my assistant mm -hmm. are going to make a cranberry pear pie with a black walnut uh, brown sugar kind of um, streusel topping. So here we go. Laura needs some walnuts cracked for the topping for her pear and cranberry pie. And she said, I'm the man for the job. So I got these walnuts. I'm just going to put them on the concrete, put this blanket on top of them and mash them and see where that gets me. I hit it too hard, just mashed it into nothing. So I'm going to go a little lighter and easier on my smashing. I don't know how much uh, walnut she needs. It'll definitely be crushed walnut. I'm just smashing it to bits. But I'm going to crack the last couple and see if we can salvage enough to use for the pie. Okay, now that I'm done with the walnuts, I found the best way to do it was to put the towel under the walnuts and then kind of keep my hand cupped around the walnut. That way I could see what I'm doing and the walnuts not getting rubbed into the nasty concrete. <clears throat> and that way I could kind of take it a little easier and put my hand around it kept the shells from flying out everywhere. That's the way to do it. The hardest part of this pie is definitely getting the uh, walnut out of the walnut shell because we uh, saved and cured a whole bunch of walnuts but they were still all in the shell so we are currently still trying to smash them all. We need about a quarter cup of chopped walnut. <laughs> So if you want to see a really pretty pie crust, oh, don't touch it, please. This is not the one, but uh, I'm sure you can find plenty on Pinterest, but I will tell you it's tasty. This pie just uses a single crust, or yes, a single crust, and so um, I just used the recipe on the back of the Crisco can to make my pie crusts, and it works out great. So we have uh, about a million packets of frozen pears in the freezer, thanks to a friend uh, from church that had a humongous pear tree that let us come and pick. So to make this pie, I have a bag here that I would say is about between five to six cups of peeled and sliced pears, and they've been tossed in a teaspoon of lemon juice and two tablespoons of cornstarch and a half cup of sugar, and we'll use that for the base of our pie and we'll mix in there one cup of these fresh cranberries that I got super cheap at the store because it's cranberry season and then we'll need just a little bit of butter. have about somewhere between five and six cups of peeled, cored, chopped to pie sized slices pears, uh, a generous cup of fresh cranberries, a half cup of white sugar, two tablespoons cornstarch, a teaspoon of lemon juice, and then I'm adding uh, just a dash of cinnamon because I like how it tastes but you don't need it if you don't like cinnamon. The cranberries are really flavorful anyway. The last 
thing we're going to do before we put our topping, mix up our topping, is I'm just going to put just a little bit of butter, not a lot, on the pie. I've mixed together for the topping a quarter cup of brown sugar, a half cup of white flour, and about a quarter cup of those uh, walnuts I was uh, smashing up. And then we're going to add about a teaspoon of cinnamon and then a third of a cup of butter. The streusel topping will cut in the butter with a knife. I don't have the patience for that, so I just smush it in with my fingers, which probably isn't, you know, what Betty Crocker would do, but it, it works fine, and then it gets it all mixed up. So I kind of smush it until it's crumbly, and then we're going to pour that on top of our pie.